Translations. Quite easy, however, there is some notation you need to understand. Now a translation refers to moving an object around the grid which has been given to us. Now a translation is given in terms of what's called a vector. Now an example might be a 4 and a 2 within a pair of brackets. Now this notation has two numbers. The top number, the 4 in this case, refers to horizontal motion. The bottom number refers to vertical. So horizontal across, vertical up or down. Now to translate an object by the vector 4, 2, you just place a, your pen on any corner of this shape. So for example down here. And I'm going to put a little dot here. This corner, call it A. And I want to move this dot 4 across and 2 up. So 4 across, 2 up. Here's my dot. 1, 2, 3, 4 across, 1, 2, 2 up and this dot has transformed and translated to a different part of the grid. I can call this a dash. And then all you need to do is to redraw this shape at the new point. So here we go, up three squares, across two squares, Do this fairly roughly, and there we go. We have translated the shape by the vector 4, 2. Now, the numbers within the bracket can also change sign. Now, in the first example, the fact it was positive 4 meant it went right. The fact it was positive 2 meant it went up. But suppose instead I had the vector 3 minus 6. We will still translate this shape here. Now once again, top number always horizontal. It's positive so it moves to the right. The bottom number is always the vertical motion but it's now negative so it moves down. So going back to the shape starting again at point A, it doesn't matter where you choose, we go at right three squares, one, two, three, and down six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and put a little dot here, call it a dash again, or maybe even a double dash, being the second shape, and then we construct the shape from that point. So to summarise, in a vector we have the horizontal number at the top, the vertical number at the bottom. If it's positive here we go right, if it's negative here we go left, if it's positive here we go up, if it's negative here we go down. And that's how we translate or move a shape around a grid.